Namaste and welcome to Sonali Joshi's Astrology. In this video, we are going to see how the year 2023 will be if you have nakshatras of Jupiter. This video is for you if you have moon in Punarvasu, Vishakha or Purvabhadra or you have planets placed in these nakshatras. 2023 is a year where Jupiter is going to stay in the sign of Pisces most of the time. Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius and Rahu and Ketu are in the sign of Aries and then they probably go into Pisces. So Jupiter is going to rule most of the outcomes for people. And if you have nakshatras of Jupiter, you will have the awareness, you will have the knowledge, you will have the capacity to deal with any difficulty that comes across. But how does Jupiter function or how does nakshatra of Jupiter function? If you understand that basic, navigating through the year of 2023 will be very clear. Jupiter is basically second from Saturn. So whatever Saturn is controlling, judging, Jupiter is going to give you the growth from that. Increase and multitude or multiplicity through that. That means people who meditate regularly, people who try to take out time for relaxation and relaxation when I say it is about the connecting to your inner self connecting to your own soul will always have better path so make sure you do things for other people help other people learn something new if you are in the profession of related to academics teaching coaching help other people grow in their life and Saturn does not want you to distinguish between their status. Do not underestimate anybody. Do not judge anybody for who they are, what they have, what they can do. Rather, without having any boundaries, give your knowledge. Share your expertise with all of them. And typically, if you are working as a professional and working as a coach or trainer, do some free workshops for the people who cannot afford your prices, your rate, your fees. And this is how Saturn and Jupiter can work together. Don't judge people. Don't make differences between how you work with them. If you remember the story of Ramayana, Ram went from Ayodhya all the way through Lanka to meet people, work with people who are different from his background, different from his status. And he took help from them, he helped them and together they achieved what they were looking for. And this is what exactly Jupiter and Saturn together want you to do. Work with people from different backgrounds, different status. That means make relationships make partnerships that are going to be helpful to both parties, both sides. Always remember why Jupiter and Venus don't get along because Venus goes works well with everyone that Jupiter doesn't work with or doesn't deal with. And Saturn and Venus work very well together. Why? Because this is the quality of Venus that Saturn likes. Saturn doesn't want you to distinguish between who is the king and who is the servant. Saturn wants you to help masses without having any restrictions. So if you have Punarvasu Nakshatra planets, remember don't be a perfectionist. You can repeat your things, redo your things to grow them, but don't get hung up on perfectionism. Do not reject somebody because they don't match all your criteria. If you have nakshatra like Vishakha, always remember you have to sacrifice something. You have to let go of some things, burn your uh, negativity to achieve higher status. That means jealousy, then anger, 
using wrong means to get ahead of your competition is not going to help you saturn is not going to let you do those things so use your skills to uplift somebody in life if you have vishaka or planets placed in vishaka use the poison in the right way also if you have any planets placed in the nakshatra of purva bhadra you will rise up when the person you are working with rises up first that means jupiter wants other people to go ahead of the path in their life and then and then they will find their own goals they will achieve their own goals and always remember saturn will let jupiter do these things because this is how these two planets work saturn can create certain fear saturn can create certain negativity in mind but remember jupiter's job is to give knowledge give awareness and take you away from the darkness to the light so use this planet and you will get what you are looking for in terms of personal relationships make sure you are doing whatever is legal whatever is right in terms of earning money shortcuts and loopholes are not going to work the way i mentioned in my previous video hope all of you now have the enough awareness enough insights about how to navigate in this year and get the best from both planets and the last one thing is how will rahu and ketu work rahu and ketu will always try to bring a trap they will try to bring something the kind of schemes the kind of um proposals which are not the right ones so be careful that you are not getting into any scheme anything that is shortcut because rahu and ketu's job is to take you on a wrong foot first and then let you understand that you make a mis- made a mistake and learn from it if we can we have the awareness we don't need to go on that path and the best remedy for the year 2023 is not to be judgmental not to underestimate others and always pray to almighty any devotee that your family believes in you believe in and when we pray to any devotee or worship any devotee it means we try to get the characteristics the gist of how they function in their life what the story is hope you find this video useful share with your friends share with your relatives who have nakshatras of jupiter and are worried about how the 2023 will be because there is lot of negative um propaganda on the net be careful do your duty do your best do what is the right dharma namaste thank you shubham astu